All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the dual power supply to get a plus minus voltage onto your breadboard. Uh, this is commonly used in op amps, for example. So in this case, we're using the Keysight E3620A, and we're going to use both of these terminals. Now, one of the things you wanna keep in mind uh, that is this power supply, as soon as you turn it on, that you have voltage across the, the both power supplies, even if it's not selected to be to display the voltage. Uh, so you always want to, uh, what you always want to do before you actually connect this to your circuit, you want to adjust, uh, turn it on and adjust the voltages to the level you want. It's fine if you get lucky and you need to turn the voltage up, um, but it's always bad when you need to, when you should have had a lower voltage. So we've got that, to, that's close enough to 15. We're going to select v, uh, the V2 to be metered and adjust the voltage up to 15. One of the things you want to keep in mind is that voltage is always measured the potential between two different terminals or across a component for a resistor, for example. So the potential, so this terminal is usually marked positive. This terminal is marked negative. Uh, black usually goes with ground or negative or reference and red usually goes to positive. Uh, you always want to typically want to keep that color coded. It's just less to worry about when you build your circuit. Now we're going to connect both of these terminals together in a way so that we can have a reference voltage and the other two terminals will be uh, the potentials that we're using. And in order to do that, I want to join the positive of one into the negative of another. Now, so the idea is that you can travel along. So this will be the, the most negative potential voltage. And this is our reference. So this will be like, this will be our equivalent of zero volts. And this is going to be our highest potential. So I'm going to use the meter probes uh, that are connected to the key. So this is going to be my reference. And so these two terminals are electrically connected so that there is zero potential between these two. But so if this is my reference voltage, that means the potential difference between this terminal and this terminal or this terminal as well is going to be positive 15 volts. Now my potential difference between either of these two points and this point is going to be negative 15. Since between this point, if this wire is unconnected, the potential difference is 15, but we're going negative, more negative potential in reference to this point. So this is how we get neg negative 15 and positive 15 volts. Now we can also vary that. We don't need a symmetrical plus minus voltage all the time. Uh, so in order to get a Let's say a positive 12, negative four. All you would do is adjust if you're using this as your positive, and this is your negative. All you would need to do is adjust the voltages to positive 12 and then this to four volts. And so you'll get negative four volts here and positive 12 volts here with reference to this center point. Now, <clears throat> now in order to get to your breadboard, you're going to need a breadboard with three binding posts. This one's also nicely labeled with the negative, positive, and ground. Uh, ground is also can be just referred to as reference. So we've got our central point here. So this is our zero volts or ground or reference voltage. And we're just going to connect it to the ground binding post. And we're going to take our positive and we're going to connect it to the positive binding post. And we're also going to take from our from the negative, we're going to connect it to our negative binding post. So if I use my multimeter probes, connect it to the reference. So at this terminal, I have negative 15 volts. And at this terminal, I have positive 15 volts. 